Rod Diamond here. What the heck is a lease purchase? Well, there's a lot of gurus, a lot of seminars out there talking about all different kinds of real estate. The kind of real estate I was interested in was the kind that would send me to the Claude Diamond National Bank. I wanted to learn how to control real estate without it controlling me. I wanted to learn how to get access to properties without the banks, without large down payments. And I sure didn't want to deal with tenants and turlets, okay? Life's too short for that junk. A lease purchase, also known as a lease option and a rent-on, goes by a lot of names, is really two essential ingredients in real estate. It's a lease, a rental agreement, and it's a purchase or an option to purchase agreement. The beauty of this is you have the control without the liability and the heavy investment. And it's a win-win all around. It's not what we call adversarial real estate. You don't have to go out and be a bottom feeder and beat up people. You don't have to deal with bad properties in bad neighborhoods. You deal with nice homes in nice neighborhoods, condos, townhomes, even mobile homes. And you learn to control them. The option part is nothing more than a contract that says that you have a right to purchase this property at some future time and date. And you can negotiate all sorts of neat little things within this contract if you have the right contracts. And I'll do other YouTube videos over the next couple of weeks on contracts and marketing and things like that. But let it go at this, that you need a contract that gives you the right of assignment. That means that you can take this property that you don't have to buy, but you can control contractually, tie it in with a lease. And the beautiful thing is you can, you can live in it yourself. Uh, I'm in a beautiful home here, which I lease purchased first, and then I bought later. Okay, moved in, saw if I liked the home, if it was well built, uh, any special repairs needed. I can take the same uh, lease purchase property, and I can sublet it or rent it to somebody. So if I'm paying the owner 1500 maybe I can sublet it for 2500 or something like that and make some more money on it. Now remember, I'm only the tenant, but a tenant with special rights the right to sublet, transfer, or convey. So I can sublet it or I can rent it with an option to purchase to somebody else. So if I have the house for say uh, $250,000 and I can sublet it to somebody for $300,000 if the market will allow that. If I have the property for $1,500, I can rent it for $2,000. I can add things like rent credit to it and I can make up to 10% of the purchase price upfront non-refundable in my pocket with option consideration. There's so much great stuff to talk about this strategy. Best thing of all, I've been doing this stuff for a real long time. There's no competition in it. So while everybody's beating themselves over the head and doing fixers and foreclosures and dealing with tenants and toilets and all this stuff, I'm having a ball. My properties are an automatic pilot. I have minimal investment, minimal liability. It's a hell of a lot of fun. I'm helping people get into homes, and I'm helping sellers get out of problem properties, especially in the slow marketplace right now where real estate is not selling that fast. We have a viable solution. We are busier in my office than we've ever been. This is just a little taste I'm giving you. There's so much more to talk about on this great subject, this great creative real estate strategy. So come back again. We'll talk some more. Hey, if you've got questions, call me. I answer my own phone. I haven't bit anybody in days. Just kidding. 970-726-7979. Or go to my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. Register. We'll send you a free CD set on lease purchasing. Got some free newsletters. Got some free uh, ebooks and stuff. Great subject, and we got tons of free information. You guys have a great day. You deserve it. Take care.